factorial of n so what is this factorial all about so when we have a number which in this case will be n so let's say n equals 5 so factorial of 5 will be 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so i'm going to get a function called factorial which will take n as an input right now we have 5 over here so i'm going to say return n into so as you can see whatever the value of that number is that is multiplied first right i mean that is the part of our calculation so what i'm going to do simply do i'm going to say n multiplied by whatever comes next right now what are we supposed to do we're supposed to do n minus 1 so can i just not take this function and call it again with n minus 1 simple right so now it's going to be 5 into n minus 1 which is going to be 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 but again we have to take care of our base case so what can be the base case in this so as soon as this reaches the value of 0 we're going to return 1 because it's not going to go further any further than that so i'm just going to simply say if n is equal to 0 then just return 1 else you can return n into factorial n minus 1 cool let's try to run this okay fine we have 120 over here and that is what we're supposed to get 